Hey guys, this is Parker with Animoplex.com, and I'm here to show you how to create a futuristic UI text effect in After Effects. I'm also going to share the preset files with you in the hopes of saving you some time. So I'm going to jump right in here. I'm going to create a new text layer, and I'm going to call this Loading Interface. You can call this whatever you want. I just thought this was kind of cool. Um, so the first thing we're going to do I'm going to twirl down the properties and next to the text property there's going to be an animate menu. So if I open that up and I'll see the opacity, I'm going to go ahead and add that. And it's automatically going to add a range selector and an opacity effect. So I'm going to bring the opacity down to zero. It's going to make the text disappear. And I'm going to twirl down the range selector and the advanced menu. So in order to keyframe this over time, I'm going to add a keyframe on the start property at 0%. I'm going to move forward in time. Let's go to 30, 30 frames, and I'm going to keyframe this to 100. So you saw what it did right there. It's basically bringing this in from left to right in a linear fashion. Uh, this is kind of cool. If this is what you want it to look like, feel free to stop here. I'm going to keep going, and I'd like to add some randomness to this. So if I come down to the randomize order under the advanced menu, it's a uh, keyframe to off. I'm going to change it to on and you'll see immediately what it's doing. It's basically bringing on each letter randomly and it's not doing the left to right anymore. So that's kind of a cool look. Uh, this might also be what you're looking for. So you can stop here if this is the effect you're going for. But I'd like to add some flickering to it like you saw earlier. So this is the last step. And in order to do that, you're gonna to go to the random seed. And basically what we wanna do is take the random seed and change it for each frame of the animation. So you want it to change, constantly change every frame. So the best way to do this is to use a time conversion expression. And the way I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna alt click or option click on a Mac, the stopwatch on the random seed. And it's gonna bring up this expression window. And inside the expression window, I'm going to type time to frames, open parenthesis, close parenthesis. And this is a time conversion expression. And basically what it's gonna do it's going to take the current frame number and inject it into the value of the random seed. So essentially every frame, it's changing the random seed, which gives you that really cool flickering effect. Um, so if you ran preview this, it's going to play. It's, it might be a bit too fast. This might be too fast for you. If this is uh, flickering too quickly, I think it is. I, I, I want it to go a little bit slower. So I'm going to come down to the expression that we just typed, and I'm going to divide this number, so forward slash, by, let's start with two. So I'm gonna cut it in half. So now we're on frame 10, but the value is five. So it's gonna go half as fast. And that's that's getting a little better. You can keep going. I'm gonna actually divide this by five. So it's gonna go pretty slow. All right, so this is kind of closer to the look I'm going for. Now it might be animating on too long. Like it might be taking too long to finish. Uh, if that's the case, you can always bring this start keyframe back a little bit. Uh, and I think this is going to do it. Yeah, this is looking great. Uh, so I've got the random seed divided by five, and I'm going over 20 frames for the full animation. So this is looking pretty good. So in the interest of saving you some time, I've actually created some presets with all of these effects that we just covered. Uh, so I've created a new comp here with some some example text layers, and I'm gonna show you each one. I'll show you how to install these in a minute. Uh, let me just go through them real quick. So here's the animation presets uh, and the user presets, and the, this is where they're located. So I have a linear fade, which was the first step that we covered. I have a random fade and a random flicker. So the linear fade, if I double click this linear fade, it's gonna add it to my text layer. And if I hit U and twirl down the keyframes here, you'll see that it's added a start and an end, and it's just going from left to right linearly, just like we had looked at earlier. Uh, I've also got a random fade, so if you double click the random fade and hit U to open up, you'll see the keyframe here. It's also it's the same setup. Uh, this one is going random, so each letter is coming up in a random fashion, um, and it's based on the layer index. So if you were to duplicate this and it had the same text, it's going to actually come in different than the one above it because it's going the random seed is driven by the layer index so that's kind of useful 
Uh, and then finally we have the random flicker. So if I go to the first frame, double click the random flicker and hit U. This is going to do the flickering that we had talked about earlier. Um, now it's set to divide by two by default, but if you double tap U, 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 and you'll see the expression here, and I'm dividing it by two, you can slow it down by five if you'd like, uh, and that might give you a nice look, but here's all three of them, just kind of back to front, and they're looking pretty good. So I hope these save you some time. They're a great way to reveal text, especially if you're doing futuristic HUDs or other projects that require modern text treatment or UI design like this. So now I'm going to show you how to install these presets. So if you've downloaded the zip file, that's uh, the link is in the description, you'll get this zip file. And if you open it up, you'll see resources folder with some stuff, uh, readme, which has instructions, and these three FFX files. Now these are the effect preset files that After Effects needs. So if you select them all, copy, and navigate to your user presets folder, uh, which the path for it is going to be your user folder, documents, Adobe, After Effects, and the version you're using, and user presets. So if you go into that folder, it might be empty. You may already have some installed. Uh, I've already got these installed, so I'm not going to actually paste them, but you would paste them in here. And then when you restart After Effects, or open it up, uh, they, they will show up under your effects and presets window, animation presets, user presets, and then they'll show up right here. And all you have to do to apply them is double click. So if you have a new text layer here, all you have to do is double click the one you want to use and it will automatically add the keyframes and all the effects needed. So if you have any questions about this method or uh, any examples of how you use these presets, please let me know in the comments or you can email me support at animoplex.com and I'd be more than happy to take a look. I hope you learned something and uh, yeah, I'll see you next time.